Hi there, welcome to this Tridian 2011 training video. And today we're going to be talking about versioning as well as the tool where used. These two tools often go together in terms of their utility and function. Uh, versioning obviously is the version history of a component or a page. Tridian allows you to go through and examine the history of a component or a page assembly and compare versions and manage your versions. And the where used functionality allows you to help navigate uh, through the different dependencies between components and pages. So you can see where something is used, uh, what it's using, along with where it's published to. So we're going to examine those two things, kind of walk through that, and then dealing with a common problem that seems that some of our newer users are having, and that's deleting files that may be used by other assets or may be published. So we're going to look through those three things and try and cover them in a manner that makes sense for you. Okay. First of all, let's look at version history. We're going to talk about three things, comparing versions, rolling back file versions and uh, deleting components or deleting versions rather. There's two ways you can get to version history. Uh, one is by clicking on the history or selecting a component and clicking on the history button up within the home ribbon or you can do as I like to pref as I prefer to do is I like to prefer or I like to uh, right click and then go up to versioning and then history. From the version history window, I can see all of the available versions within Tridium about this component. So I can see that there's ver six versions. Version six is the current version. I can compare versions, so I could go to ver select version five, for example, right click and compare, and it brings me up a new window, and I can compare the versions between five and six. The green items that have a strike through are, is the content that has been removed and the content in blue with the exception of links, links are kind of exempt from this, uh, the items in blue are usually the items that have been added. So the difference between 5 and 6 is that uh, this, this number 5 has been removed, 6 has been added, and this last paragraph and a second has been removed. I could also go back to version one, compare between version six, and I can see all sorts of new changes. So that's comparing histories. We can also roll back. Let's say I want, I just really hated version two through six and just I just want to start over. I could right click on the version that I want to roll back to and click roll black, roll back, and I've got two version or two options. I can either create a new version that is a copy of version one. So in other words, what that's going to do is it's going to take version one and it's going to make version seven here out of a copy of version one. So version seven will show up here, but it will be a copy of version one. Or the more destructive option is I could delete all the versions created after version 1. Uh, so all of these versions here would be deleted and version 1 becomes the new current version. That one is obviously a lot more destructive and risky and if you are at all worried about losing important information it's probably best to do the create a new version option here and then you would select rollback. And I'll just do that as an example. There's our version 7, and you can see rolled forward from version 1 within the comment. Okay. But I'm going to delete, I'm going to actually roll back, and I'm going to delete all versions after. I click roll back, version 7 disappears, and version 6 becomes the current. All right. And then lastly, you can delete version. Uh, history. So if we go back to our version history, I could delete any of these items by simply selecting one and 
clicking the red X and delete, and I could delete that version. Yes. Now, let's say, for example, you uh, went to uh, version history of something and you selected an item and then the red X is um, grayed out, basically, disabled. Well, that's because if we look at our current version, there is a version that is checked out. Someone has it open. Oh, nope, that's me. If I close this out and then go back to my version history, refresh, then I should be able to delete. So you got to make sure that whatever component that you're trying to go through and do version history for, or whatever page assembly you're trying to do version history for, make sure that it's not checked out. Because if it's checked out, Tritting is basically freezing the status of that component or page assembly while changes are being made. So you can't be destructive and remove versions. Okay? So that's versioning. Versioning is a very powerful tool, but so is where used. Let's talk about that. We're going to talk about where used in the context of three different things. Pages, uh, media files like PDFs and images and Word docs as well as regular content components. So let's start with a uh, page. So let's look at where used. Within a page, it's obviously not gonna be used in very much, uh, or if anything at all, but in pages what's more useful is seeing what it actually uses. So we see that it uses a garden variety of components, some component templates, page templates, schemas, site templates, a variety of different things. We can also see where it's published to. If you don't see anything, you might need to refresh. So if by clicking the refresh button, you, you can get a view as uh, the latest view of what items are actually being used or what items it's using or where it's published to. So we see that Here's our version test component that's being used in the page assembly. It's using this component template, this site template, this page metadata schema, and this particular page uh, template. And it's published to the staging environment. If we skip back to the multimedia component, the PDF that we are linking to, we can go where right click, where used, we can see that it's used in this component version test. We see that it's using the default multimedia schema and that is published to the staging server. And going to the component that's using that PDF, we can also right click where used. We see that it's used in that page assembly version test we see that it uses the general content schema and um, this particular um, PDF that it's linked to in that component. And we also see that this individual component is also published out to staging. So we'll close that out. That is where used. Now where used is useful because sometimes you might decide that you know we've got some unnecessary docs that we need to get rid of. For example, this page title, uh, Tridian page assembly PDF. We want to get rid of that, but we can't just get rid of that because a number of things. First of all, files that are published cannot be deleted. This is a safeguard that Tridian has put into place. If something is currently being used by your website, you can't delete it. It's a safeguard. Also, files that are linked to from another component within a current version, those can't be deleted either because a component is using that asset. So this, if I op open up this version test, I see I've got a link. If I look at the source, it's got the TCM ID and there's the name of that PDF, or I could go out to the page itself and I can look in the title bar and I can, or down in the uh, help at the bottom of the, 
the page or the browser, I can see that that PDF is being used by that page. So Tridian is has put a safeguard in place that, all right, fits two different criteria. One, it's published out, so I can't delete it. This PDF is also being used by a component, and I cannot delete it. However, there is an exception to the rule. If I were to go into this PDF here, or into this um, component here, and let's say I removed this link, let's save and close, and if it fulfilled the criteria of being unpublished, right now if I go down to the 050 level, I can see with this little blue icon here that it's published out. So if I right click on this and I go to unpublish and unpublish that PDF. Um, And wait for that to go through. I am removing both of the criteria that prevent that PDF from de being deleted. So if I go back out to my page, notice that this link has become dead because Tridian has a dynamic link resolver. Remember, if you recall, in that component, there's a link to TCM ID. Well, because that item doesn't exist anymore, I can't, I can't click on this. It's basically a dead link. Okay. So now, if I refresh down at the 050 level, I see that this item is no longer published. In fact, I could go where used. Go to publish to, and if I need to click refresh, it's not published to anything at all. Um, is it used in anything? I could go to version test, and it's only used in old versions. So, with that said, now I can go back up to the 020 level. Uh, just for kicks, I'm going to refresh. Now I should be able to select this and delete. Now, keep in mind um, that this component has old versions that uh, use that PDF. If I delete this PDF, now that I have satisfied two conditions, one, it's not published, and two, it's not linked to in the current version, the, those two criteria allow me to delete this PDF. But if I delete this PDF, these old, some of the old versions of this component that have links to that PDF, if I go to compare and go back to my, say, version 5, I've got a link to that PDF here. If I remove that PDF, this content's going to break it's going to have to modify the content for me because there is no PDF. In fact, let's do that. Let's delete the con the com uh, let's delete the PDF. It's gone. And let's go to uh, versioning. We're going to go to history. And let's try and roll back to a version we know that has um, the link. We know version 5 does. And we're going to select the we could either do the roll back button here or we could right click roll back and it's going to warn me this version is modified because related items are deleted so you still want to roll back and we can say yes or no and in this case we're just going to leave it as is so that is the process for getting rid of um, the dependencies now let's say I wanted to delete uh, a few things. Let's say I didn't need this component and I didn't need this page. Let's say these two items are antiquated and we want to get rid of them. So first things first, I need to delete this page, or I mean unpublish this page, excuse me. 
So we're going to unpublish it from staging. And we'll wait for that to go through the publishing queue. And once this page is unpublished, we should be able to delete it. All right, wait for the deployer. Success. You may need to refresh. So you right click, refresh. Now you see that the little blue icon in the corner of the page assembly is gone, so I should be able to right click and delete. Yes, and the page is gone. Now, you might ex one might expect that by unpublishing the page that the component is unpublished, right? Well, let's do this. Let's right click on version. We're going to say we're uh, this version test component, we're going to say we're used, select the publish to, let's refresh, it's still published to stage. So we're going to actually have to go to the location of that component on the 050 level where it's published. If we refresh, we see that we're in 050, this item is still published. So we actually have to go to the component right click on it and unpublish the component itself. Now why is this item still published? Because maybe another page wants to use it. Maybe it's a dynamic component. Who knows? There's a number of different criteria could be fulfilled that that's maybe Tridian is using it elsewhere. So this component remains published until we actually decide we want this specific page or this component unpublished. So let's just open up the queue, babysit that for a second, looks like it's unpublished, so right click, refresh. Now we see that the component itself is unpublished. We can go back up to our content, right click, and delete. So now, uh, just a few things to remember that one, you can't delete history from an item while it is open or checked out, whether by you or by someone else. Also, remember you can't delete a page or a component or an asset while it is published and or used presently by an item, presently meaning in a current version. Um, and also that there is a small percentage of users that don't have per delete permissions, and that's usually those that have an author type role, where you basically can create and edit content, but you can't delete it. But for the most part, many of our users are editors and approvers. Just a small fraction are actually just authors. So I hope this uh, tutorial was uh, informative for you. Just a uh, just to quickly recap, we talked about version history where you can compare, roll back, and delete. All that stuff is accessible um, by right click, version, history. Uh, you have a number of acts. You can preview something, you can compare it, you can roll back, delete, and see, even see where it's used. And when, where used, we talked about. Um, three different things about how it, what it uses, what it's used in, and what it's published to. And then we talked about how to go through the process of removing something from Tritium that is both published and used by other assets. So I hope this uh, tutorial was informative for you and helps clarify any misunderstandings or um, uh, about the system or how things are used. Basically, Tridian is trying to protect you from doing something stupid like removing an asset that is used by the website or by another component. So these safeguards of protecting you from deleting your assets inadvertently is a good thing. So I hope this is informative. If you have questions, you can uh, feel free to reach out to us at Minute and we'll um, do our best to answer any questions. Thanks so much.